Good day to all. In this lecture, we are going to see on the determination of Lee strength and CSP. CSP means count strength product. That is the multiplication of count and strength. The count unit in, is NE and strength unit, Lee strength unit is LBS. It is not the strength of a single yarn, it is the strength of a Lee. So, in this experiment, we are going to find the count strength product using the count in NE and Lee strength in LBS. So, we have four steps in the determination of CSP. Step 1 is the preparation of Lee. Step 2 is the determination of count of yarn. Step 3 is the determination of Lee strength and step 4 is the determination of CSP. For the step 1, it is a practical uh, work in which the Lee has to be prepared and the instrument used for step 1 is wrap reel. Second is the calculation of count of yarn before which the weighing balance has to be used for weighing the sample. Next is the determination of Lee strength using Lee strength tester and finally the calculation of CSP count strength product. So let us look into the first two steps that is the preparation of the Lee and determination of count of yarn. Now for the preparation of the Lee and determination of count the two instruments that are required are wrap reel and weighing balance. Wrap reel for the preparation of Lee and weighing balance for weighing the Lee or to find the grams of the or the weight of the Lee. So first let us look into wrap reel working. For understanding or using the instrument wrap reel we should beforehand know what is a Lee. Before preparation of Lee we should know what is a Lee. A Lee is the length of yarn of 120 yards. It is prepared as a bunch of yarn. So the Lee, the length of a Lee is 120 yards. The circumference of the wrap reel. Wrap reel, uh, you are going to prepare the yarn uh, in a circular form, in a sheet form. The circumference of the wrap reel is 1.5 yards. So, the revolutions that has to be set in the wrap reel is to be known before. The number of revolutions can be found by the length of one Lee and dividing it by the circumference of the wrap reel. Length of one Lee is 120 yards and circumference of the wrap reel is 1.5 yards. So, the number of revolutions that has to be set in the wrap reel is 80. This is the front view of the wrap reel. See, you have the plug at the back here. This is the tensioner. This is the guide. This is the circumference of this is 1.5 yards. This is the side view, right side view of the wrap reel. This is the creel where you keep the cone. This is the guide. Here you have the switch here you can switch it on plug main and then the instrument main is switched on now it automatically starts and rotates you have to be careful the here is where you set for the number of revolutions you have to press the button set then this number can be increased by pressing the upper arrow and decreasing by down arrow. So for 120 yards of Lee, you have to set 80 revolutions because the circumference is 1.5 yards. So, so this has to this has to be set. This is the first step in the instrument. This is the uh, guide where the 
cops can be placed or the cone can be placed. From here, uh, the, before starting the instrument in the spikes, there is a spike which is adjustable. So the, this is where you can adjust for the easy removal of yarn from the wrap reel. See, this is unlock, lock, unlock, press and lock. So this is how the circumference of this is 1.5 yards. Take the cone, place it in the position like this. Take a yarn, end and pass it. The yarn is taken, passed through the guide, holes. And through the tensioner, this is the tensioner, then again a guide and see there is a place for keeping the yarn. The yarn is wound, the edge of the yarn is wound here and the extra thread can be removed. So this is how it is kept. Similarly, the other next sample is taken through the guide tensioner again another guide and then it is uh, placed it is uh, wound in the edge you can see here this is in lock position you have to intuit that before start this is unlock lock so now start in the instrument here Start by pressing this button before that ensure that it is in start not blinking the light should not blink set it and there should be no blink and then start without having your hands here so let it continue for the 80 revolutions so it is the number is increasing You can, it starts from 0 and it will end at 80 revolutions. 80 revolutions. So it has stopped after 80. Now the removal of the second sample. This is taken from the uh, right side of the machine uh, to give a better understanding on how it is removed. So the end is broken and moved and the, it is uh, found onto the lee. And it is removed like this and the two edges are rotated like this in opposite direction and the second prepared lee is kept in the tray. Now after preparation of the lee, the lee has to be weighed or the weight of the lee has to be found out. Weight has to be found out in grams. So for which we need the weighing balance. Let us see how to weigh in the lee in the weighing balance. The length of 120 yards, that is 80 revolutions, the sample is prepared. The lee is prepared and kept in the lee tray. And now the next work is to weigh it. The length preparation is done, now weighing. Because count is length-weight relationship. So for a particular length what of 120 yards, what is the weight? So we are going to weigh the sample. Switch on the weighing balance. 
like this let it stabilize and show zero now from the lead rate the sample is taken and placed in the weighing balance the weight is in grams 1.65 we have found the weight of the lee it showed 1.65 but uh, after that i found it stabilized in 1.64 so i am entering the value for the weight of the lee in grams which is 1.64 this is the tabular column which is used for this experiment weight of the lee count of the yarn is to be found then strength of the yarn is to be found and the csp and one more parameter elongation is also found which may be also recorded now the weight of the lee 1.64 grams is recorded here similarly the next sample is weight Sam second sample is placed and the weight of the second sample is 1.1 after that the second lee uh, is weight and the weight is found to be 1 gram for the next lee so that is also recorded both the samples are from different cones as we saw when we uh, prepared the lee in the wrap reel so this is two it is not two different readings of a same sample it is two different samples before going into the determination of count, we will just look into how the formula for the determination of count is arrived at. So, the determination of English count or NE from the weight of the uh, Lee, which we have already prepared, we will see how the formula is so that you can use this whenever you change the length or uh, the weight unit is changed then how you can use the formula or how you can find out the formula is what we are going to see now the english count or cotton count is mentioned as ne it is an indirect system of uh, mentioning the count of yarn so it is nothing but the number of 840 yards present in one pound of material when you take one pound of material and uh, uh, if, if it is 1, 840 yards, then the count is 1. If it is 2, 840 yards for 1 uh, pound, then it is 2 NE. So, it is an indirect system. Indirect system for determining the indirect system, uh, the formula used is L by M into B by A. L by M into B by A. So, uh, L for length m for mass we will see what are the constants b and a so l is here 120 yards since uh, we have used a lee of 120 yards we are taking that so 120 and the unit is yards m is the mass in grams which we have found out using the weighing balance to convert 1 lb into grams that is 1 LB is equal to 453.6 grams. So, we have to uh, divide that to convert into LBS. So, but already mass is in denominator. So, B is in numerator. B is the constant to convert it into the unit required. The unit required is LBS. So, the mass is already in grams. So, the constant is 453.6. Next, A is another constant for the length. So, uh, we have taken 120 yards, but we need 840 yards because it is English count. We have to find the number of 840 yards. So, A is equal to 840. So, the cotton count N is equal to 120. L is 120. M is the mass in grams which we find. Because it varies, so it is kept as a variable M. V is 453.6. A is 840. 453.6 and 840 are constants. Similarly, when you use some other weight and length unit, you can use the same formula for finding the count in the indirect system. Because indirect system is length by mass. Now here, 
for this formula cotton count is equal to solving this we get 64.8 divided by mass in grams of 1 li. So English count or cotton count N is equal to 64.8 divided by mass in grams of 1 li which, which will change constantly for various, various samples. So, with this formula, now we are going to find out the uh, count of the uh, two leaves which we weighed two of two different samples. So, for the first sample, the weight is 1.64 grams. Substituting that in the formula, 64.8 by mass in grams of the leaf. 64.8 divided by 1.64 is equal to 39.51. Determining the count for the second sample, the weight of the second sample is 1 gram. So, count in N is equal to 64.8, the constant divided by 1, which is equal to 64.8. Now, note these two calculations. After calculating the count of the two samples, record the same in the tabular column. So, now the step 3, determination of least strength of the uh, Lee which is prepared and the count is determined. We have prepared the Lee using Rapri, weighed the Lee and determined the count of the yarn. Now the next step is the determination of the Lee strength. Let us first look into the Lee strength instrument description and how to uh, find the strength of the Lee using the instrument. This is the instrument available in our laboratory. The instrument here. We'll be, have a closer look of that. So this is the plug. This is the motor. This is the serrated arc. The plug. Closer look of the plug. Switch on. Switch on. The motor will run. You have to on only when you need to test. So switching out off. So this from this motor, there is a drive. Converting the rotary motion to linear motion of the bottom jaw. This is the bottom jaw and you can see the elongation scale. A screw mechanism is working here. Screw mechanism which moves the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw is in the bottom position and moving it to the top position. So this, this is the elongation scale connecting to the screw mechanism. It moves down. Engage, disengaging, engaging, disengaging, now let us look at the top part of the instrument, this is the load scale, this is the top jaw, top jaw, the hanging one, this is the pendulum black one, this one, this is the serrated arc and this bottom part we already saw, this is the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw gets the drive. This is the elongation scale. You can engage and disengage. You get the drive from the motor. Let us see the working of the instrument now. First the lee is mounted in the top jaw and then it is prepared such that it can freely move and then the jaw in this bottom jaw the specimen is mounted. Lee is mounted and it is engaged to the screw mechanism. There is a this is there is a pointer here. It is matching zero. Now switch it on. You can see the top jaw here. The bottom jaw here and the lee in between the top and, jaw and the bottom jaw. The bottom jaw is engaged to the screw mechanism before the start of the experiment. Now, after switching it on, it, the bottom jaw moves and you can see the load scale moving by the movement of the pendulum here. See the pendulum moving and the bottom jaw moving. Elongation causes loading. And the sample is cut. Now you can note the uh, load scale reading. 
the inner scale is in kgs and the outer scale is in lbs you have to take lbs if it is english count because csp is count in ne and strength in lbs so take the outer scale reading now the outer scale reading is 82 lbs note that same see you can see the pendulum is at a higher position and the sample is cut note the elongation reading now you can see the technician Srinivasan Anna are uh, removing the sample the sample so he is releasing the bottom jaw it has become loose he is taking out of top jaw removing from bottom jaw and keeping it in the tray and now um, moving the pendulum to back to its position slowly and the load scale reading has come to zero now the two readings reading for the strength in lbs and the reading for the elongation in inches has to be recorded in the tablet column like this 82 is the strength of the lee and the uh, elongation of the lee is 2.5 inches now place the second lee in the top jaw after ensuring that the load scale is in zero and elongation scale also now placing the second sample and preparing the sample and putting it in the bottom jaw and engaging it see engaging engaging the bottom jaw and switching it on top jaw you can see the load uh, pendulum moving in closer look of the pendulum and the load scale movement the sample is cut immediately stop it and you note know the load scale lbs reading the second reading for lee strength for the second sample is 67 the elongation scale reading is 2.7 straight to this point here it is 2.7 elongation is in inches 2.7 inches similar to the earlier one now the sample 2 strength is 67 lbs and the elongation is 2.7 inches note the same here now we are in the last step of determination of csp which is a calculation part the practical part is over let us see the equation for the determination of csp csp is count strength product count in ne and strength in lbs you have to be very careful while noting the strength the lbs reading has to be noted so we have the readings here let us first look into the first reading first reading the count is 39.51 and strength is 82 lbs so we get a csp of 3240 the same next sample the C count is 64.8 and strength is 67 lbs so by multiplying we get the csp of 4341 note the two readings in the tabular column so the first sample which was shown here was combed compact yarn and the next sample used uh, which was shown was a polyester cotton blended yarn spun yarn only one reading was shown in the experiment but for the same sample n number of at least 10 number of readings has to be taken for one sample and which was not shown in the video but it was a, uh, no the uh, strength of the various leaves were from one sample 10 sam one cone 10 samples were taken and the weight of those leaves have been found and the strength and the elongation has been found now uh, as we saw for the first calculation uh, the count and the csp has to be determined now you can use this 
readings for the determination of the count and CSP. And now here we have found the same. And it was it is found to be these readings. 64.8 divided by 1.6261, all those things and the reading. And the similarly, using the same formula, count in NE and strength in LBS, the uh, count CSP of the yarns were found. So this are the way these are the various readings that were obtained, and the count and CSP is calculated. It does not end here. We have to find the average standard deviation and CV. Average is known to all. It is the sum of the uh, all the readings divided by the number of readings. So we have 10 readings here. So sum of all these divided by 10, we get this as average. 39.9 is the average count we get. And the average CSP is the sum of all these readings highlighted in yellow divided by 10 we get the average to be 3271 for this sample. Now let us see the formula for standard deviation. The formula to determine standard deviation, the notation for standard deviation for a sample is S. Yes, this, this sample is not the sample which we take. The, yeah, it is the sample but it means that it is a sample and not the whole population. So sample standard deviation S is equal to root of sigma x minus x bar the whole square divided by n minus 1. X here is, re, is the uh, individual reading x1 to x10 here and x bar is the average and n is 10 here in this sum in this uh, example which is shown here. The formula for coefficient of variation denoted as CV percentage is equal to the standard deviation divided by mean x bar into 100. Using the formula for standard deviation and CV, the count uh, CV as count the standard deviation is found to be 0.44 and CV is found to be 1.10 and the CSP Standard deviation is 50.57 and the CV is calculated to be 1.55. Similarly, the uh, standard deviation for the least strength and also elongation can be found and the readings are and the calculations are shown here. The values after calculation are shown here. Finally, the results that are obtained have to be presented like this. So, for if one sample we get, we have to take at least 10 leaves out of one cone and the count and CSP has to be found and tabulated and standard deviation CV are to be found and it has to be presented at the end like this. Count is the average standard deviation CV, least strength, standard deviation CV average. CSP average standard deviation CV and also for the elongation. So all with the units has to be represented in the result like this. Similarly for the sample 2 also 10 readings have to be uh, taken and this is how the results have to be presented finally. Thank you.